What you're standing at right now, obviously, is the overlook of San Fran. And about the bridge itself, remember we talked about this thing as a suspension bridge? When we walk across, honestly, we have no choice at this point. You have to go across. Kenneth is on the other side. On the left, okay. that bridge is held up by those cables. There are cement anchors at the end. Every one of those, well, those two cables on top are put together by like 100 pencil-sized cables compacted into a massive cable. When you get to the middle, the cable is so low, reach and touch it. You should be able to touch a cable and see how the vertical ones are wrapped around it. In the middle, or I used to say anywhere, if a big semi comes along, run over, grab a cable. See if you can feel it jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. It's kind of cool, okay? Over the middle is 230 feet over the water. That is all the way down to your death. You're dumb. Remember, wise choices. And about the bridge, it is right now, if I understand right, it is in the top two or three of security um, concerns in the country as far as terrorist attack points. Back in 1941 through 45, why was it the same thing? World War II. Just so, these things right here, listening, listening, right behind me, you're not looking. It's right here is a battery, a coastal artillery battery. This did not exist. It was built like in the early 1900s. You go all over the coast, Florida has these. In the middle here, they would take railroad guns, I don't know railroad guns, but naval guns, and they would position them here and have them be able to fire out 22 miles out to the ocean for enemy ships. You could not let them take this harbor, or we were in deep duty. The Japanese in World War II, no lie people, sailed within the coast over here. There are a couple of cities along the coast they actually pulled their U-boats up and shelled refineries on the California coast. This was here to keep all the ships out. They were 16 inch guns, and when they fired, they went down, they could load them, lift them back up, fire, come back down. All the munitions are kept below. They slept here, they ate here, and they everything was built so that when the ships were firing their 16 ounce shells back, they ricocheted across, or they ducked underneath the concrete. It was never fired upon. But it protected them until the advent of what invention is one of the coolest things that now they could actually go out 200 miles and get them before they get here. The rail guns. CBM. Change everything about warfare. Oh, check out the Marine Corps Osprey guy. You don't see those very often. Hey, that hints what they built to protect this. Airplanes. Airplanes, you goose. They go out 200 miles, and so this became obsolete by about 43. Okay, got it? Check it out on your way down. On your way down when you go.